I just want to ask uh, Eric and uh, Bill Waters, did you watch the interview with uh, Miss Marco? Yes, I did. Um, I'll give you my opinion, then you can jump in. Uh, if there is a definition of in disingenuous, if there's a, if there's an, a, 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 for me, anyways, personally, if there is um, any type of, you know, actual example of how somebody could be full of shit, that was the interview for me. And what shocked me is that the prince sat there and allowed her to throw his family under the bus. Yeah, that was, that was an embarrassment. I agree, Frank. You hit the nail on the head. You can. I think Oprah Winfrey was a great interviewer, and she told her. She told her straight. Say, one of the most, I would say, one of the best crescendos, or one of the one of the most pivotal parts of the interview is when she said, "Are you doing this to strengthen your brand or create a brand for yourself?" And she said. <laughs> Please, that's so ridiculous. I was a big star. I was an actor. I was working. First of all, she's never been a yeah. big star. Oh. She was in a in a, in a in a series, Suits, and she was the smallest suit in the suits. I, mean, I have no time, Frank, for uh, the... Yeah, interview. but you watched it. You watched it because yeah, you're I a watched. human being and you I respect watched. family and you're traditional, and that's why you watched it. Yeah. No, uh, Miss Markle, but I don't blame Miss Markle. I, I, poor Harry. What are they going to do but, with him? Well, you know, he, he's been seduced. But you know, when they get divorced, then the the true story can come out. Yeah. Well, Eric, what did you think? Nice. What, what's your interpretation? Was there any sincerity on her part? I don't think so. I didn't I see the whole so thing. I just saw clips and read some articles on it. Uh, so I got to be honest, I didn't see the whole article, the whole interview, but. Um, yeah, I, nothing from what I've read and from what I've seen on social media, certainly nothing positive uh, came out of it whatsoever. Well, anybody that's in the middle, forget about being on the left or being on the right. Anybody that's in the middle says the same thing, right? Yeah. It, it, you know, the, the, the far left uh, defend her and poor me, you know. And, uh, you know, the, the far right uh, are vicious. The people in the middle, um, many people that are in the middle, I, I don't know if you are familiar with Ben Shapiro. Ben He's Shapiro. a very bright guy. He's got a show. He's uh, a conservative. Yeah, he's a commentator, right? He's, uh... Yeah, yeah. He's very, very successful, very bright, young guy. Um, he's an Orthodox uh, Jewish, uh, very, very conservative uh, and I was very curious to get his opinion, and his opinion was, you know, I, 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 I searched for his opinion. I know what Pierce Morgan, you know, he, you know, he, he quit his show over it. But uh, anyways, it was, it was, it was absolutely that. embarrassing for me to watch a grown man. You know what it reminded me of, guys? Do you ever remember the Barbara Walters interview with... Um, with Robin Gibbons and uh, Mike Tyson. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I, you remember that interview, oh, Eric? Where Mike do. Tyson allegedly, after the interview, tried to punch them both out to, uh, because Robin Gibbons <laughs> and, and her mother <laughs> basically trashed them let's during just, the interview. Let's just say that's not uncommon for Mike. He's had so many interviews he's done. Over the years, where after the interview, you could tell there was a humongous animosity. I mean, well, I was on Mike Tyson's side. Anyways, the interview between Mark Hel Ms. Ms. Mark Hel who, at one breath, said she didn't want any accolades or to be a queen or have a title, and then in another breath, saying that her son will never be a prince. Yeah. And that was erroneous. That was a lie. Mm hmm. Because yeah, but, but it was, passes, Bill, if I may beat the fuck out of the word, she's disingenuous. Oh, yeah. No, no, she's... And she was acting. Acting. She knew when they, she was getting a close-up. She knew that when they were going in for a close-up, she was acting. And she, and I don't know if you guys noticed this, when her husband went to answer a question, she cut him off and answered it for him. Jeez. <laughs> Pretty, yeah. That's right. Fuck. Jeez. I wasn't surprised at that, Frank. 
But I didn't know that or realize that Harry, not just step. <laughs> I mean, they, they all made He's it. not a step. He sold out his family. He sold out his family. And now uh, he's... Listen, I believe a man should respect his wife, his partner, the, the, the now the, the, the link to his family. But there's no way he should throw him under the bus. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you, you you flip a coin, you choose who's responsible. Who should take most of the blame? Meghan Markle or Harry the Hat? It's one or the other. I mean, for them to do that to the Queen, I mean, I'm not a monarchist, but I respect what this woman means to a lot of people and how she handles herself. And for her to have to answer to Meghan Markle and her grandson, shame on the grandson. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch the whole thing. I didn't see it, like I said. I've been so busy. There's been so much going on in the world of sports, but I'll watch that interview. And uh, But, yeah, like I said, what I've seen online has not been very complimentary. No, they were – no, I, I, I mean, you've got – both sides, obviously. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people excited about Meghan Markle doing what she did. The question that I have for Meghan is, why did you get yourself into this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you ask that question, I think, Eric, you go back to the whole... This was a whole setup by her through a Mulroney mm -hmm. in, in Aurora. They were friends. And I said, uh, at the time, I thought, what is this girl doing? I, I, I just, I could never figure it out. I mean, if, if you step back and say, what's the worst thing you could, and I don't, I shouldn't say worst, what's the most difficult thing you could face in the, with the royal family? And that would be an issue of racism. Of course. And she brought that up like it was a breaking sticks. Like it was nothing. And yeah. threw it on the queen's lap. Wow. 